because the danger doesn't disappear. It's real on both sides of this little thing you have in your head. You think the corpses go away when you close your eyes. When you go to sleep and you wake up on the day that happened nearly two fucking years ago. And they're still out there. Still outside that door, they're just walking about looking for anything. Any sight, sound, any smell, any light still on there, just like us. Want to know why I didn't kill your little friend out there? Huh? It's because it was a girl, Jack. That's the first time I really realised that's somebody's baby that's now a corpse. Huh? I feel bloody from forcing us out to walk in spite of hunger, pain and whatever else those dead fucks out there feel. No, I won't live. I won't live in here pretending I haven't seen that you. Jack, that's how you seem to want to live. Like a light-headed, heavy-hearted, thank you, oblivious <laughs> fool. But it's a painful reality to face up to. It really is, but you've got to get past it. Past your fear. I swear to God, if it kills me, I will drag you out the other side of this, kicking and screaming if I have to. Oh.